Hi, this is Denise with Paper Crafty, and it is day six of the seven days of spring 2021. Today we're working with this printable from Julie, from Dear Julie Julie. It's got this great receipt uh, with some flowers on it. Uh, and we have a business card and another little uh, journaling spot with some flowers, daffodils, and butterflies. Really beautiful for spring. And for Kara's page, we have all these three beautiful little cards with the flowers and the butterflies, and then all this wonderful um, ephemera with tags and uh, tickets and <clears throat> little frames, just absolutely gorgeous. So today I made a signature for the uh, junk journal that I'm going to end up making. Um, so I took a uh, file folder, one of the hanging file folders um, <clears throat> that you put the manila folders into. So, you know, I guess the the metal file. I don't know. I don't know what you call these, um, but it's the the green ones. And I uh, I got a bunch of them from a friend of mine who was who was getting rid of them. So uh, I tore it down. <clears throat> and this little book that I'm going to be making is a six by six album. So um, I did a torn edge on the bottom and on the top. Um, and I did it in opposite direction. So on the bottom, you can see that the little bit of uh, craft shows through, which is super cool. I love the way that turned out. And then the torn edge will be on the, on the top on the inside. Um, and I sewed around all of the pages um, and <clears throat> Uh, when I get to the inside, I'll show you that. But the cover um, just has this little tuck spot here, made from one of Julie's little card or uh, Kara's little cards, <clears throat> and one of her labels and her butterfly. Um, I folded it down. I double printed it, double sided, uh, folded it down, added a little gold doily, did a little stitching on there, um, and. I took uh, one of the uh, printables from, what was it, day four maybe? <clears throat> um, and it was a, uh, I had printed this on vellum and it was an extra print that I had, had made um, of the lady in the field with the flowers. And I put it on a tag, one of the, just a regular pre-made tag that I had uh, in my stash. I really like the way that came out. I like the way the little number kind of shows through here. <clears throat> you can get the the script and I don't know, I just really like that. And put a little bit of, of ribbon on the top, punch the hole. Uh, this uh, file folder had a, had a seam here, so I just covered it up with some washi. And then you open it up <clears throat> and yeah this uh, this file folder had a built-in pocket um, this particular one I've never seen those before but it was pretty cool um, so I went ahead and covered that with Julia's receipt um, it wasn't quite long enough to fit all the way across so I had some uh, book page that I added on the sides and then a little bit of uh, gold doily. So you can see on the other side how I just put it across. <clears throat> and again, I took a, um, one of the inserts that I, I didn't use from one of the other days. Uh, I had printed this on that shimmer uh, gold cardstock. It was one of uh, Kara's uh, journaling spots and added a little bit of lace and it's got a place for journaling on the back. <clears throat> and to create the pages of this signature, I used the packaging um, 
this is the paper that comes in uh, packaging. Um, like when you get an Amazon package, uh, it's like the, just the brown paper that they put in there and they, they uh, kind of crinkle up um, to, you know, ins uh, to protect uh, whatever it is they're sending. Um, so I took and I doubled these up. I doubled the pages up. Um, so you'll see each of these is two, two pages. <clears throat> two pages, I just folded it over on the top. Um, and then I sewed around the entire thing. Uh, and I uh, went over the wrinkles because they were all super wrinkly because you know they they were you know crunched up uh, to um, protect the package, you know, the contents of the package. Um, and I went over the top of it with uh, Picket Fence Distress Ink. Um, just to kind of highlighted those um, creases. I really, I like the way that turned out. Um, so anyway, so those are the, I made two pages, uh, interior pages for the signature. And then I added this little tuck spot here um, just a uh, one of uh, my printable tags that I had put through the mink so it has uh, gold foiling on top and then one of um, Kara's uh, um, little uh, advertising uh, pieces that was in uh, today's printable and then two little inserts uh, this was from today uh, just punch the hole you know ink the edges add a little string um, and then this was from one of the other days. And this was also printed on, on that shimmery gold cardstock. And I added a, um, I cut off some of the little gold leaves from some, um, some trim. And uh, I added a little adhesive flower on the top. So that's the first page of the signature. Uh, the second page, just very similar. You know, it has this, um, you know, the pages made out of packaging, were sewn around the edges. Um, I made this little tuck spot here, just a uh, fussy cut part of the edge of one of the, the cards from uh, Julie's kit. Um, the back side of, of one of my tags, my printable tags, a little bit of um, cheesecloth. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Oh gosh, I need my coffee this morning. Um, <laughs> and um, there weren't a lot of uh, extra pieces to make inserts, so I just took inserts from previous days. <laughs> so. Um, you know, this was one of the uh, the printables from a previous day, the uh, uh, library card uh, with the flowers. I think this was um, off of one of Julie's uh, pages. And then I added uh, some, some of that tape uh, that I, um, it's just regular uh, scotch tape, the glossy kind. And I added some caramel colored alcohol ink to the top to age it and a little bit of this gold trim. And I put it on top of a time card just to add some extra journaling space and provide a base uh, for then uh, turning it over <clears throat> and having a little bit of a um, little journaling spot here, just with some steno notebook paper. Add a little bit of gold, some gold paper. That fits right in there like that. And I just, um, I had printed this out. I just love this receipt. I think it's so pretty that uh, Julie put together. Um, I just tucked this in the center um, of the signature. Uh, I absolutely just love this uh, little receipt. I think it's so pretty with the little, the detail of the, the little, um, you know, the little stamping there, so cool. Um, so I added a little ticket 
one of, again, one of my uh, printable tickets uh, with uh, gold foiling uh, that I did through the mink, um, some black uh, mesh, and one of uh, Kara's butterflies from a previous day. And I just tri-folded this and I made it, Julie does this a lot, she calls it a flip-flop, where you just um, have this extra little area here where you can journal. <clears throat> so this is kind of, I guess, a bit of a book bookmark. Uh, I added this little tuck spot uh, this is from a previous day, again, printed on the Shimmer Gold cardstock. I fussy cut this little uh, violet out of uh, Kara's page. And, oh, goodness. It's okay, Fluff. It's okay. <laughs> Had a little visitor today. Um, and so I <laughs> fussy cut that and just added it over the top. Um, and this is just a little tuck spot for uh, one of the little um, cards. Uh, I don't think this is from today's, today's, uh, maybe it is from today's. Let's see, is this from, no, it's not from Julie's. Is it from Kara's? Okay, so no, this one's not from today's. <laughs> this is from a previous days, but I had it left over. Um, and just, you know, made a little card there. Super simple. Um, and then I, I added a, uh, on these uh, strings for the interior uh, of the signature, I added this little bling, um, just kind of folded it over the top and glued it. And the same with this, it was one of uh, Kara's little butterflies. Um, and I just fussy cut it and folded it in half over the string. So it kind of adds, it's like a little dangle. <clears throat> and uh, just another little tuck spot here. Oops. Oof. That good. Okay. So this is one of the cards. I think this is actually from today. Um, just a little uh, journaling spot. And this is one of Kara's. Uh, <clears throat> advertisements from today and a little uh, it's a stamp uh, with a special delivery bicycle super cute cute little stamp I love that um, and then again one of my uh, printable tags that I had run through the mink so it has some gold foiling on it and then the last page uh, just the back of that uh, printable tag. I fussy cut this out of uh, yesterday's uh, printable from Julie. Um, this is the one that had the little chickies on it. Um, so this was this beautiful flower and the butterfly. Um, just added it there for some decoration. And um, this is the back side of uh, this pocket that was built into the file folder. Uh, there's, you can see the book page underneath, uh, the gold doily, and then one of Kara's little tags. And then, <clears throat> I just added this as an insert. This was, again, another time card. Um, and this was Julie's uh, library card from one of the previous days. I had printed it on vellum didn't end up using it for that day. Um, has little flowers on there. I added a little lace and one of my printable uh, tags in pink that um, I printed on a file folder. <clears throat> so that just goes in there. Oops, I have to hold this up. Get that in there, like that. And then the last page, uh, has this, I just used some gold uh, foil paper. Uh, this is from Michaels and the back of it is craft, which I love. Um, I fussy cut this butterfly out of one of 
uh, Kara's cards, added a little ticket and some white uh, doily. And this is a fabric tag uh, that I embossed the bottom part of it um, and added uh, a little vellum, get a little vellum uh, flower. Uh, this is from one of the previous days uh, from, I believe from Julie's uh, page and one of Kara's little uh, labels um, and some cheesecloth and some, um, oh, seam binding. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> the words are hard today. Um, <laughs> I need some more coffee. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's um, the bottom of uh, the back page. <laughs> and again, just, you know, this, this you can see the, the file folder a little bit better, how I, uh, <clears throat> you know, ripped the, did a torn edge on the bottom. You can kind of see the craft through the bottom and even some of the, the book page that was used. Um, you know, for the, the pocket that was built in here. Um, again, a torn edge here. I love how that craft shows through. Um, you can see how I did the torn edge on the interior on the top. So you get that torn edge here on this side. So anyway, um, this was a lot of fun to work with. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, playing with, you know, some different kinds of materials and you know, just doing a little experimenting. That was a lot of fun. Um, and just, you know, uh, experimenting with some different, different things. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you did, please give this video a uh, thumbs up, a like. Um, it's a challenge to come up with uh, new and original ideas every day. So <laughs> uh, your feedback is, is definitely appreciated. Um, and if you have any comments, uh, I'd love to, love to hear you know, anything you have to share. It's, it's, um, it's fun to, to hear from people and, and, and what they have to say because it kind of keeps you feeling like, okay, well, I'm, not, I'm actually doing this for a reason. People are actually enjoying it. So <clears throat> that's cool. Um, so again, give it a, uh, if you can give this video a like, a uh, thumbs up, um, comment, and um, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Again, this is Denise with Paper Crafty and Craft On.